Hello. Welcome to a time to pray. A time to pray in secret. And I thank you for joining me during this time. And I really believe that our prayers that we pray in secret are like arrows. Arrows in our bow that we shoot off into the heavens. And I even have something. Can you see that arrow? That's what we're shooting off today. We're shooting off arrows of prayers. So I want to thank you for joining me, all you wonderful prayer archers. And today's prayer I would like to take from Psalm 144. And it starts at verse 5 and goes through verse 8. And it says, Bow down your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Flash forth lightning, and scatter them. Shoot out your arrows, and destroy them. Stretch out your hand from above. Rescue me, and deliver me out of great waters from the hand of foreigners whose mouth speaks lying words and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. Father God, we thank you for your mighty presence. We thank you that you are so great that we cannot conceive of your greatness but we thank you that you come and bring your greatness and your might into our battles and you take over our battles and make them yours and we thank you that you come to our defense because we seek you we pray to you we trust you we worship you we love you we need you we acknowledge you. We humble ourselves before you. And we realize we don't deserve any of the goodness and kindness that you give to us. We don't deserve any of how you come to our defense even. But, oh, Lord God, because of who you are, merciful, full of mercy, day after day, morning after morning, and because... You are full of compassion and loving kindness. And because, as you told Moses, you will show compassion upon whomever you want to show compassion, whether we agree with it or not. Because who are we, Lord? But it is you. You are so full of love and compassion and mercy on all people. So, Lord, we just ask that in your mercy, in your kindness, in your compassion, that you would come and rescue us in this wartime, that you would rescue the innocent children, the innocent mothers, the innocent people who have been in harm's way. Lord God, that you would help them that you would help all of us, that you would keep us safe, that you would send now on assignment your myriads of angels, your hosts of heaven, to protect your people, O oh God, to shield us, to ricochet away from us any harm that should come towards us, any harm that should come at us, that they would bear us up with uh, our feet, they would bear us up, that we would not stumble, we would not fall, we would not fall into any kind of hole, we would not fall into anything. We ask that your word also would be with us. As you said, you would be with us in the waters and in the fires and in the floods, that you would be with us. We ask you to be with us through the nighttime, through the morning time, through the noon time. And we ask you especially, Lord God, that we would 
be a testimony of you. That we, you would do things that we would give testimony of you. That people would know that you are the mighty one. You are the mighty God over all of heaven and the earth. You are the mighty God who covenanted with Israel. You are the mighty God who parted the Red Sea. You are the mighty God who parted the Jordan River. You are the mighty God who kept the mouths of the lions closed and kept Daniel from harm. And you are the mighty God who are with those of, of Daniel and, and his servants in the fiery furnace, O oh God. Those who are your Hebrew children, Lord God, you are with your children, and we want to testify of this to you. Even as there were testimonies all throughout the Bible of how you came, how you gave birth where there was barren wounds, how you saved people from lion's dens, how you escorted people across Red Seas and Jordan Rivers, how you fought mighty battles miraculously with hardly any any soldiers, how you, Almighty God, killed the giant with the rock and slingshot of David's hand. You are the arrow. You are the arrow, and you are the archer who hits the bullseye to save your people and defend your people. You are the arrow of truth that shoots down every single lie and falsehood of the enemy. Now we just give you honor, we praise you, we glorify your name, O oh God, we exalt you on high in heaven, we exalt you on the throne of our lives, and we say glory be to God in the highest and may your name be blessed forever and ever and ever and we give you thanks forever and ever and ever and beyond that forever in the name of Jesus of Nazareth the crucified one who is now the resurrected one who was who is and is to come and it's under his sacrifice atonement blood that I pray Amen and amen.